Um, oh, this was good. So if the vast majority of men honestly, oh, this is too good. Uh, so if the vast majority of men honestly assess their situationship, please, God damn it. Stop using Zoomer speak. Stop using that term situationship no you're fucking other people can we just like say you're like spinning plates can you just say you're dating not exclusive this is a situationship no you're fucking multiple guys like cut the shit <laughs> paul not low paul maybe you just picked it up you don't you don't know they are second best at uh, second best at best situationships okay you're only the best she could do she could land but convinces you she desires you until or she's the best you could land yes and no now, let me explain to you why why that is. In the vast majority of cases of situationships, right? Yeah, you maybe you might be right. However, every once in a while, you'll see the story of uh, Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling. Okay, now Eva Mendez is I think she was in her forties when this happened, but she was very vocal about how she never wanted to have children ever. Right? She just simply wasn't about it. I'm, I don't have any maternal instincts. Fuck that. I don't fuck them kids. Right. Then she met Ryan Gosling and she was head over heels for Ryan Gosling. Good looking guy, you know, A-list actor, I guess maybe still is. Um, and Eva Mendez, good looking girl. You know, she's still, you know, that side of 40, but okay. She still hold her own. Maybe not as good as Margot Roby, <laughs> but uh, who, by the way, does not have kids. I have to amend that mistake that error that i made she actually the kids in that picture were actually her husband's kids from a previous marriage so technically she's mom but she's like hot stepmom cc's mom <laughs> stacy's mom stacy's mom um but no here's the thing is like if you look at the eva mendez and ryan gosling the first thing she says is i want to have kids I, I didn't know i want to have kids until i met ryan and i want to have his kids i want to have his babies that's validational. That's genuine desire that, and you could say it's motivated by, you know, her necessity. Maybe it is, but like, because she's a little bit older now, but now suddenly she goes from, I never fuck them kids. Like I never want kids to, I want his babies. And that's the biggest difference. If you ever hear a woman tell you this late gentleman, if you're in a relationship with a woman or you're in a marriage with a woman and she's like, you know, my biological clock is ticking. I, it's time for me to have kids. I need to have kids. I want to have kids. Don't do it. Eject. Get out. She said the wrong thing. That's not Johnny. She wants to say, I want your kids. I want your babies. <laughs> I want your DNA. You know, that's why when, when Jason, like, you know, got off inside of Lena, that's why it was so shocking because that's the kind of guy who she wants to have. That's the Ryan. Jason Love is the Ryan Gosling for, for Lena the plug, right? And she was just all about it and as good as it gets, man. And by the way, that's not a recent thing. This is an old thing. How do I know? Well, go watch the movie. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. And when George Bailey and Mary get uh, finally get married and they're, they're, uh, Mary gets pregnant for the first time, they have this one scene and he comes home kind of all depressed and like worked over because he can't get out of, you know, Bedford Falls or wherever the hell it is. Um, and uh, she said something, in fact, uh, to the fact that like she just mentions this to, to let him know that she's pregnant. Right. She, she says, well, she's, he's all, why ever marry a guy like me? And she goes, because I want my baby to look like you. Like that. And then, of course, that's, that's oh, we're having a kid. You know, that, that cheers him up like immediately. This happens in like, when, when was that shot? Like the late 40s, early 50s, I think it's black and white, right? Juries. Uh, Jimmy Stewart. And, and I forget the girl's name who played Mary. But there's that one scene. It stuck with me too. That's a, that's a very red pill movie, by the way. If you ever watch, uh, I know it's a Christmas thing and it takes like two and a half hours to watch, but you look at, look for, it's much more red pill and much more old school than you would think, especially uh, Violet. Was it Violet? I forget. I think that she's the one who's the sort of town floozy a little bit, but even that sort of teaches you some red pill lessons. Like this is how we used to do things and this is how we are right now. But that scene kind of stuck with me when she says, cause I want my babies to look like you. That's I want your babies. That's not, it's time to have babies. That's I want your babies. I want my babies to look like you. Sexy son's theory, right? Hypothesis, hypotheses. I want my babies to look like you. Ryan Gosling, um, Eva Mendez wants to have your baby. That's what you're looking for, gentlemen. 
you want to talk red flags, vetting for your what? That's that's a good strong vet right there. <laughs> I want your kids. Also, it's one of the like when she doesn't want your kids, when she's still pining for that alpha male, that's when you got to figure out like if she don't never let your wife name your male child. Especially or, or if she does, if she insists on naming the baby that you have with her uh, and the, it turns out later that that's the name of an old boyfriend she had in college. Get out. That's when get out. Jeez, that's double. Get out. Get out. <laughs> that's that's transactional sex. That's trans. You have a transactional relationship. She has a baby with you and she names it. Chad. She names it Tyrone. She names it uh I don't Jason apparently. She names a baby Jason. <laughs> yeah, if she names a baby Jason, yeah, then put Jason is probably the guy who like you know rearranged her guts. Like that's still got that she's an alpha widow. She's still pining after that guy to the point where she's going to name that. And by the way, I am not overplaying this. This happens all the time. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. You know probably know one of your girlfriends who named her male child, her son, after an old boyfriend. Because she's like, eh, he was the best I can do. And I want to be reminded of his name every time I see my son. That's you want to, there is no greater like reinforcement for sexy sons theory than women naming their sons from another guy after an old boyfriend they fucked in college. That right there, sexy son. I want to see this man. In myself and my my male heir, my male that I'm sending off this boy into perpetuity. I hope I can turn him into what I couldn't lock down in college. So I'm going to name him David. I'm going to name him Jason. I'm going to name him whatever that guy's name was, Chad. That's fucked up. That is absolutely fucked up. But it is what it is. I see it's, it happens often. Enough. And you know what's funny is you probably didn't even know about it. It's probably more prevalent than we think. But because we have the Internet, and we're more aware of this stuff and we have like social media and it, we hear the stories all the time. It makes me wonder how often that happened before all this. <laughs> wow. 